I was really captivated by his ability to just make everyone love him, you know? He was so good at, at, at winning people over. He knew what to say, he knew how to dress, he knew how to play, he could do everything. And he wasn't really afraid of the powers that be. And I thought that was really exciting to see from a, a black musician in the 1700s, you know? What I love about Joseph is he's a showman. And in his music, you can tell he likes to flex. You know what I mean? He really wants to like show that he's the virtuoso that everybody is speaking of. You know, when you start to look at his history, knowing that he's a dancer, knowing that he was an incredible fencer, there's a there's a precision and a swiftness to his music that I don't think some of the some of the other artists at the time, like Mozart specifically, is a man of harmonies. And like you look at Joseph and. He's just like, he, to me, feels more improvisational, more like a jazz musician. That's where I come from, it's a jazz background and they're more licks, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, like runs, you know, like we do. I think everyone has this um, preconceived notion that classical music and classical films are just kind of boring and stuffy and pretentious, and it really isn't. They're the most lively people ever. The reason we love scores is because of the classical genre, you know what I mean? There's, there's something so epic about string instruments. And it's an epic story for an epic career, an epic form of, of artistry. And I think people need to need to check it out.